Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Overtime Podcast. I'm Spinling. And I am Dead Meme Frog. Actually, your name is not Spinling, your name is Network, not even Kyle. I swear to god we made that joke the last episode. Yeah, well I'm making it again, fuck you. It's like a little inside joke for the podcasters of my ex-usernames. Yeah, your ex-usernames. Hey, Fucking dead hey name podcast group. listeners, any of you guys know about Kyle is weird? <laughs> Funny guy. Oh, a funny guy. Yeah, look, he's gonna he's gonna beat the shit out of me after this podcast, probably. But just because I keep oh, mentioning his old username, he's just, he's just gonna be like, "Stop, meme frog! Stop!" <laughs> Stop. I'm, I'm not. I won't. You're not. You're not going to. Okay. No. Okay. Nuh-uh. Okay. Do you want to well, know why? Because I have power. You have power. What do you have power <laughs> over? <laughs> you. Do you have power over certain businesses? Let's just say I own a little company. Okay. It starts with the first word is black and the last name rock. Okay. Okay. Uh, I hear you. I hear you. Let me just ask this. Do you, do you come from the country that hates Palestine? That's as far as I I'm going to take that. You two TOS. Anyways. Neither or deny these allegations. <laughs> That's as far as I'm going to take that, because fucking YouTube <laughs> TOS. YouTube fucking TOS. You anyway. don't want to get 32 yeah. fucking subscriber podcast shut down after the second episode. Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, maybe we should actually get to the fucking topic. Okay, so... Yeah! First, first one. What is it? Uh, first topic. Uh, do you want to talk about Plague Moth first, maybe? Um, yeah, I released my video, like, yesterday, I think. Yeah. Solid piece of fiction. What I feel like would be important... Non-fiction. It's fact. Yeah, non-fiction. It is fact. It is... Everything I said. Okay, well, someone's killing me in Roblox now. Okay, I, I, just fe- I just felt that was important to mention for the podcast. Anyways. Can they hear your, like, your game audio? <laughs> they can't. I have it turned down. Oh, they won't be able to, because you'll have a audacity. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I made my... Uh, Plague Moth video, finally. Uh, pretty good reception um, from people who aren't even a fan of the channel. Uh, finally got to 500 subs, so thank you guys. Congrats for that, by the way. Yeah! Um, hey, anyone, anyone listening to this, go subscribe to... Sp- anyone listening to this, go subscribe to Spindling. Hello, hello, it's my podcast, hello. But yeah, I did get some, some funky... <laughs> comments um i mean i can read them out if you want or will that be a bit boring no you can read them out you can read them out we don't even have that many topics as is so fuck it like yeah um i mean the fir- the first one that i see right now 10 hours ago that was like from i think it's sort of like moth fucking come come dump fan um one minute in and i already know you're spewing this information also you sound like a generic twitter incel um, yeah. Everything I said in that video was a complete and a lie. It was made to dis- misinform and sway the minds of young children. Guys, like, for legal reasons... To stop watching gore. Guys, for legal reasons, what are you saying is a joke? Okay. Yeah. What, what are you saying is a... It, <laughs> for it's a, it's a complete... lying reasons, yeah, everything I say is 100% true. No, uh, yeah, it, look... For legal reasons, what he said there was a joke. He was not lying. He was not lying about anything he said in the video. Okay, I am Spindling's legal my, representative, okay? Yeah. My solicitors have advised me to retract. <laughs> Your manager has advised you not to uh, go on drama alert at this time. Yeah, I, I kept getting, um... A, not a lot of comments that would be exactly like that, but would, like, kind of, like, divert or, like, kind of misrepresent what I was saying. Um... Yeah. Um, and and uh, there was this one like big fucking like arg- argument um, thing that happened in my comments about this guy who was talking about like uh, this one point uh, I don't even think I made in the video about um, in a section in the video if you haven't already seen it I talk about not even talk about I just mention some of the videos that Muff has made that aren't gore centered um, uh, and one of them cringe. I say yeah, the just these cringe commentary videos that he makes. Um, 
And one part of it, I, I mentioned a video of his called, like, why the Hogwarts Legacy game is, like, anti-trans or something. I think it's deleted now, but I think I have it downloaded still. Um, I never talked about it. I never went in depth on it. Um, it was, I just mentioned it, and then I moved on, moved on. Um, and I, I got this really long comment, and, like, long comments after that talk about how, like, I was wrong because, like... It is though, <laughs> and I was like, "But I didn't say that it wasn't." Yeah, here's like, the th but it isn't. But I didn't say that it wasn't. Here's the so thing: I, don't I think when it, the argument, I think when it comes to comments on that on your video, it was definitely like a lot of people who couldn't respond to the actual points and the bulk of what you were saying. Because like I don't know, I I didn't see that person actually respond to the real points. They were responding to little minor things. No, they weren't. Um, they responded to little minor things that had nothing to fucking do with the actual video. Like, I, I think one person mentioned that you mentioned some fucking LGBT video that he made or some shit. Like, why he's no longer part of that yeah. community. Which I think that was just a troll video. I never watched it, but... It, it, it So the video was called, like, something like, Why I No Longer Support the LGBT Community. Um, yeah. And I thought it was just a really cringe video to me. Uh, I didn't... I, it, it, like, because apparently appa I didn't watch the video because... I saw the title and I just thought it was funny, so I just put it in there. I never talked about the video that, like that. That's yeah. what they like keep acting like I'm doing. But what I did was, I just mentioned it and then said something else, and then I instantly went to a different topic. Um, and they use that to say that like I'm lying, but I'm not because I didn't say anything. See, I just, I just don't get that. Like, how the fuck are you lying? That's what I'm wondering. Yeah. Like, like I, I guess like. The, um, some of the criticisms that are valid is that I used the word um, was it mixtape and video for like types of gore like interchangeably but like I'm a normal uh, well, sorry, just human, sorry for you being so... a normal fucking human being and that you don't consume yeah. gore like holy shit yeah I wouldn't know the subgenres of the fucking gore community legitimately, um, I, le legitimately I don't even think fucking Windagoon would make those videos like holy shit yeah by the way, not um, not a diss at Wendigoon. I love his content, but fucking love Wendigoon, dude. Yeah, uh, I I got a comment saying that like always preferred how Wendigoon handled topics like this. Um, yeah, I mean, if Wendigoon would cover topics like this, which I mean, Wendigoon's topics are a little bit different. The only one that's kind of similar was that there was this one thing that Wendigoon covered like somewhat recently. Where it was about this guy who, like, got exposed to, like, a shit ton of, like, uranium. Yeah, radiation stuff. Yeah. Yeah. A shit ton of, like, uranium. I, if Moff made that, it would have been incredibly fucking... Yeah. Like, yeah. stupid. It, yeah. it, it would have been just some bullshit. Yeah, but Wendigoon's a great content creator, and he knows how to fuck to handle that shit. So, he... Real and true. Yeah, he knew how to be, like... He knew how to be, like, you know, sensitive to the topic. He knew how to fucking handle it properly. Like, unlike Plague Moth in his fucking videos. Oh! Like... Yeah, going back to that video, should I talk about the really fucking big comment that I got that was, like, the first, like, hate one? Yes. Yes, fucking go ahead. Dude... Because that one's funny. Can we just mention this real quick about that comment? At first, it was literally just, like, one fucking sentence, and, and then we just made some replies Yeah, it's literally it. barely a sentence long. Yeah, and then they fucking edited it to be like, oh my god, if I were to like fucking copy like, it. Like a script of a video itself, yeah. It's probably it, like, It's gone now, but I have the images right here. Um, yeah. It's probably like... So the original one just said something some like... Definitely. The original one, I think, just said something like, this is the worst thing I've ever seen, like two minutes after the video came out. Yeah. Um, But they edited it to say something like this... Um. Uh, it's a very dishonest comment, um, but uh, freedom of speech. Um, yeah. I hope this doesn't come off as rude, but I want to discuss some things you said. As long as, as a long-time Moth fan, feel free to prove me wrong. Also, your editing is godly. Yay! Some some things may they're foreign, so if they say things fucked up, it's not because I'm not reading it properly. It's because they're not <laughs> of English heritage. Um, that why he hates the LGBT community video. This this is what I'm talking about. They were straight up saying that they aren't a supporter anymore because they are one of them now. First of all, stupid fucking point. I don't care. They are the ones being supported. Watch the video first and don't cut corners to get more evidence on your video. 
wasn't made for evidence. It was just because I thought it was a funny title. Um, yeah. But, well, eh. Let's just mention this for one second. That was never a major point in your video. It was never supposed no, it to wasn't. be a major point. Yeah. I mean, if I wanted to use them as points, I could have used up how he, ma he made a video ar around Eugenia Cooney to make her look like she was being trafficked. Um, okay, I hadn't heard about that. Among them, now. That is fucked. That is, yeah. that is, that is actually fucked. Mm-hmm. I, um, had, I had not heard about that one until now. Jesus. Yeah, uh, to get my evidence on your video. And then they just say something like, mind you, this is coming from a trans gay person. <laughs> Don't care. Um, this is the worst and most disgusting scene thing since you are telling a person in the LGBT that they don't support it. No, I'm not. That is a lie. Um, I've never, I never once said that he doesn't support LGBT. Never once said that he isn't in the LGBT. Um, I just brought up a funny title. Um, and you see, you see what they do, me and Frog. It's insane. Yeah, it's 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 the the semantics these people will go through. It's not even a semantics; it's just they lie. Um, it's just fucking. It's a very long list. So this might take up a big portion of the video. This guy has fueled our podcast for today, me and Frog. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. You know what? Fuck it. It could take up a long portion. I don't give a shit, honestly. Yeah. Because, uh, I because that comment yeah. is so fucking stupid. Mm -hmm. Like the recording his reactions to apparently the worst gore videos. These were all accident. This is the worst one, by the way, because it's fucking disgusting. These were all accidents that could have been prevented if said people went by the rules and weren't doing something stupid. Yeah, it's the it's the victim's fault that fucking plague moth is making a video on them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The victims deserve it. Yeah, totally. Totally. The That's victim. fucking dis You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, holy shit. Uh, oh, yeah. And they are the worst score videos. That's th that doesn't matter if it's, it, it, they were accidents or not. They, they weren't. They're literally fucking cartel shootings. Um, and beheading. People forget what the not... fuck Funky Town Evil was. Here's what I think about the gore shit. Sorry, I'm I don't go, even like... want to think about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but go on. I'm going to go, like, slightly off topic here. Just, uh, dude, that shit makes me fucking sick to my stomach whenever I just fucking, like, hear about what happened to some of those titles. Like... Yeah. Like, I'm I'm just, like, I'm not someone that's very, like, desensitized to a lot of this shit in the internet. Like... I... And I don't think... I don't think gore should be something that people are fucking desensitized to. Like, I think that... That, that just seems fucking weird. That seems something that, like... I don't know. I... I think anyone who just, yeah, I, I think generally, like, most people who just don't have a reaction at all to seeing, like, someone getting fucking filleted by a cartel member or some shit, it's just like, what the, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, yeah. actually, like, actually, that, that might sound um, like, that might sound like grandstanding a little bit, but it's like, I can't fucking help it. Like, like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> that, that man. Yeah, it, it's, it's like. If you find an in there's nothing wrong with being interested in like disturbing subjects. I mean, when do Goon, for example, does good videos on? Them. Yeah, and also like true but, like, crime. When shit. it gets to the point where you're like upset, yeah, and also when you get when it gets to the point where you're watching a YouTuber who like reacts to the shit on YouTube, then yeah, I just I just don't get that part. Like, why the fuck? Mm -hmm. Why the fuck would just some y YouTuber just be, like, reacting to, like, gore videos? Like, on the fucking internet. It's Jeez, not like... I guess. It's not like Plague Moth is, like, giving some fucking, like, video essay shit on these topics. And it's just, like, giving them, like... It's not any, it's, yeah, it's not much wisdom. He's just saying, the person died. Now let me watch it and laugh. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I, going back to the comment... Yeah. Um, uh, they said... Um, so after they said, you know, blamed the victim, because it was the victim's fault, everything is the victim's fault, they say, I don't see how this is wrong at all, though it is edgy. Um, okay? Yeah, the... It is wrong. Okay. They... I think it's wrong to use people's death um, to, to satiate your little rabid fucking fan base of, like, incels and, like, weird little fucking losers who, like, go around and talk about their favorite little gore video. Like, yeah. Yeah. No, I think that is fucked okay. up. And then okay. you put it on your Patreon for people to watch on censors. 
Okay, first That's off, now let's been ju deleted. Let's just talk about this part. They they just call they call Gore a little edgy. Like wow. Yeah. <laughs> that is, wow. That just, that, that just completely fucking undermines what it actually is. Like holy shit. Like what absolutely, man. I'm not I'm not some guy who's into doing some shit like shock sites or some shit. I think you're fucking weird if you like gore. Literally, people will make fun of all these. I, th like, I think there's nothing wrong with like having that curiosity to it, right? But like, there's a line. Like, obviously, I I've fucking seen some bad videos. Not not on purpose by accident, but you know what I mean. Like, there's that thing. It's like, oh, yeah. Fuck, you know what I mean. Um, they were prevalent on Instagram a lot. Um. Yeah, like I think I uh I think on Instagram it's where I saw fucking uh. Ronnie McNutt fucking shoot himself as through Instagram. I've, was... I've still to this day I've never seen that one. I, I no, it's when I joined that one like small commentary server and they just had a gore channel, <laughs> and then I left instantly. Um, These people are fucking disgusting. I swear to God. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> fucking weirdos, dude. Um, but going back to the comment, comment they they put like slash slash that one girl ninety nine stomps fake. This is a one they harp on a lot, like continuous like assholes. The one girl 99 stops saying, as he said in the video multiple times, this video, the one he is reacting to, yeah, I, I know, mate, um, is horrible and that it's really sad. Again, he's just edgy, which I understand some people have a problem with, but he isn't really glorifying gore. Yes, he is. Yeah, absolutely fucking is. I don't see how anyone could not see that. He posts, like, little teasers to his little gore videos on Twitter. He's, he has a fucking he had a fucking Patreon where you could watch it uncensored with him where he fucking like counts the amount of time. I, I, I don't know if this is true, but I've heard that the fucking one girl ninety nine stops video the girl was fifteen. Jesus. But don't count me on that because I don't know, so I don't wanna. Yeah, I mean that's just alleged shit, but still, if that's true, then Jesus fucking Christ. Like, come on, and, and then like. <laughs> and then he's like, it's just edgy. <laughs> okay. Call, I, okay. Calling, like, watching gore videos and laughing at them just edgy. It's like, it's like crossing a line there. Like, look, I like edgy shit. I used to like fucking Filthy Frank, iDubs, like, a lot of these people that used to do edgy shit, right? But that shit's nowhere near, like, gore and laughing at it, is it? It's like, that's like, they, they just say, like, the N-word. At worst, yeah. you know what I mean? Or they'd well, like... I mean, <laughs> Tays a rat. <laughs> Filthy Frank had the cake videos, to be fair, but like th those they, are they, those are those are still not as bad, obviously. They were like but... kind of shockish, but it wasn't like disturbing. It wasn't like a guy getting his like head fucking cut off True. and then they eat it or something. But I'm saying I like... I'd call that edgy and shocking. I would yeah, that shit's edgy. That that's yeah. edgy. But like yeah, a fucking guy like a fat guy who like tries to look like he's in the band Mayhem, fucking sitting there and he's like. <laughs> Trust fund like spent PC like, bro mayhem. Uh, if, fucking mayhem. What was the main guy in that fucking band called? Like I forgot. Lars or something. Euronymous. He, I think he got killed by like. Euronymous or like what was it? Like the main guy is called like dead or some shit. Oh yeah, the guy that committed suicide. Mm. Yeah. Fucking hell, lovely little podcast episode, isn't it? Um, <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, he said multiple times he counts them because of curiosity, and he never insults slash mocks the victim. I don't know. I think counting it is more than just insulting and mocking, let alone reacting to it. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like I. Here's the thing. Whenever multiple YouTubers come out and go after one fucking person about this shit, I think it. I, I think it's a little more than just people trying to, like, create false narratives and shit. Because I don't think a one-hour video by, like, Lazy Bedhead or, like, your fucking 15-minute video... Like, I don't think you guys interacted before that fucking topic anyways. So, it's not like you two... No, some, like, I didn't know who fucking, she was. So. Yeah, it's not like you guys had some fucking agenda against, like, Moth or some shit. You guys just genuinely wanted to make fucking videos. So... Mm. It was just... We saw a guy who was doing shit that shouldn't be doing... <laughs> And, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, exactly. And then they harp on the they harp on this stupid point called um, because in the bit because he talks about um, his excuse for it is the news does it, so why can't he? And I say that's a stupid point 
because the uh, new the shouldn't do it either. Never, yeah, the new should not the, the fucking new, do it the, either. But what but what I'm saying is, but what I'm saying is, the news doesn't have like Tucker Carlson sat there reacting to a gore video, is he? He's, he they they cover a subject and then they move on because it's the news. Um, like they never do shit to garner a reaction. I think is what I say. And then they yeah. say he never said he wanted to get a reaction. What? Okay, but if you. I don't know. I think reacting to something, react. Fucking, it's in the fucking name. It's the word. It's literally the word. Yeah. <laughs> it's the they're fucking stupid. He literally doesn't get money from YouTube. That's why he has a give me a coffee or subscribe star. I, that doesn't matter. That's worse actually because like now you know people pay for it. <laughs> He's just directly, like, getting money from, like, fans for, like, fucking gore yeah. videos and shit. Look, honestly, um, whenever, whenever it comes to him reacting to that shit, I completely fucking understand why he wouldn't make money from YouTube. Like, completely mm. fucking understand. Like, I... I think I would disagree with YouTube straight up terminating him. But also, it's like, it makes fucking sense. I wouldn't anymore. Like, I said at the end of my video, like... Uh, I wouldn't actively call out for his deplatforming, but, like, uh, I wouldn't be against it. I mean, <laughs> the guy has literal YouTube videos where he's falsely accusing people of being pedophiles. I don't think that should sit on YouTube anymore. I think defamatory videos should fucking go down. But And, I mean, I probably wouldn't I think have... half of his videos should be down. He's reacting to God, dude. I mean, yeah. I... I... I mean, not that I don't agree with you there. Like, I think the videos are fucking repulsive. Oh, yeah, I'm not trying, but I get what you mean. Yeah. I, I'm just more someone who's, like, very fucking lax whenever it comes to, like, you know, all that, like, guideline shit. Mm -hmm. So, I'm, I'm just more someone where it's just like, okay, well, I'm not going to have, like, sympathy for this person, but I'm also going to say, hey, maybe they shouldn't have still gotten taken down. Like, I... It, it's kind of like when Sneeko got banned, right? Because I didn't have, like, sympathy for Sneeko, but also I can also acknowledge that his ban was bullshit. Because it, uh, because it was. He got yeah. banned for COVID misinformation. Like, <laughs> like, like, come on. Of all things to ban Sneeko for, fucking COVID misinformation. But, like, you know, we're getting off track there. Well, I'll, I'll fucking get back yeah. to the comment and shit, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, they say a lot of his subjects have been respectful to the victims if, and I don't know if this is um, just because they're foreign, don't, you know, English aren't their second language, if they are animals or minors. So if they're adults, they can go get fucked. You know. Yeah. It's like, uh, I, I'm going to treat that one as a um, translation issue but like if that if that is supposed to be how it said that's so disgusting it's like yeah no it's not you should you should only have respect for them if they're kids or dogs you know you know adults that get brutally murdered by cartels fuck them just fuck them yeah, that kind of that kind of reminds me like that one person that we fucking interacted with a server before where it's literally just like like i'm not gonna mention the person by name but, oh, in the server with old friend. Y y yeah. Uh, basically, it yeah. Where this person was like, I, I think it, uh, the exact issue. I think it was like Ronnie McNutt, and they're just like, I don't, I, I don't feel bad for this guy. Fuck him. Uh, like I never knew, knew him and shit. And I'm just like, well, you can't have basic fucking empathy for someone. Like, <laughs> basic fucking empathy. Are you that edgy? Human decency. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Art and sad. Like, I could be edgy. I'm not that edgy, motherfucker. Like, holy you say shit. say the N word every day. Well, I'm not gonna say it here, okay? <laughs> Better not. Um, If I did say it, I'd have to cut it out that, because fuck they... you, YouTube. But. <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> so, in this bit, they talk about um, uh, DD, Daisy's thingy. Um, oh god, yeah, that's that's a um, fucking the, awful subject. Uh, because a big point in my video was he said that he accidentally watched it on 4chan, and I was like, how can you accidentally watch it on 4chan? 
um, and you've while also lying and saying that you've never watched it. Um, so yeah. Uh, so he said he said accidentally on 4chan. So like question marks. Why bring that up in the first place? DD is getting more spread. TikTok 4chan hell. E that was the point. Hell even at some points though. What? Hell even at some hell even read it at some points though. I think. He only saw the trailer of Daisy Destruction. That's why he knew what it was. No, he didn't. Um, he claimed to have seen said Daisy's that he, Destruction. He didn't claim to see a trailer. He said that he accidentally saw a clip of Daisy's Destruction. When we called him out on it, he first said that he had never watched it, and then said that he had watched a trailer of it afterwards. I don't believe either. I, it's very weird, because it's like... How can you claim that you never watched it and then said that you fucking watched, watched some... it like two years earlier? Yeah. And then watched some like clip of it from a trailer or some shit. I'm just like, I, I, okay. First of all, who the fuck makes a trailer of like some fucking like CP video? Like it what? was the guy who made it. Oh god. Because because he is making. For context, the guy who made it, Peter Scully, he's like a well-known pedophile. He had a website where the video went for um, 10 grand per viewing. Like, Daisy's Destruction. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah. God, I, God, it's bad enough that was actually, like, fucking, like, you know, hosted on the fucking internet, but... This guy's making, like, people pay 10 grand. That must be a lot of rich pedophiles just willing to fucking watch that. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, man. Um, uh, anyway, um, the next one says, um, may I ask you what's the issue in hosting gore reaction slash gore based on material on Patreon? Because it's not allowed. It's, it's morally against wrong. their guidelines. They say, back in the day, it was allowed. When he got notified that it now wasn't, it, he removed it respectfully. <laughs> no. Wasn't it um, proven that it was still in his fucking Discord server, so it violated shit? Like, yeah. His, his Patreon violated TOS in 2021. And then he got it back, and he was doing the same thing, and then I think he chose to delete it. Um. Some someone sent a report, and then yeah, that that that's th these people are stupid. Uh, he got permanently banned off of Patreon. He didn't because of that creepy readings by name. It wasn't um, as he said multiple appeals to no response. No, not true. Plus, why post censored versions of your original content when other sites can give you more percentage and not let you post stuff and let you post stuff with the actual footage? It's not a right thing to do in the first place. Because I think profiting off of people's death is fucking disgusting. That's why you shouldn't do it. That's yeah. why there's a problem. By you the way, we have just gotten half through the comment. <laughs> yeah. These fuckers in the comments, you guys can say we're like morally grandstanding all you fucking want, but like, I don't care. I don't fucking yeah. care at all. I don't think we get much plug like, stands depending on. Like who sees this or how we title it? Oh, probably, probably not. But we're probably gonna have to title this something about Plague Moth, like the fucking uh, like first half of the episode is basically about them, and probably longer. So, mm. <laughs> but um, next one is um, I don't think he's pretending to be poor at all, mainly because his daughter has died. But I I never brought up his daughter that they are um. As diabetes that stay with her her entire life. I knew a person who had, who had that, and it was extremely expensive till they passed away from COVID. It's nothing to do with everything. That I, that if I get a hundred dollars in donations, I will post feet thing is a clear joke. Um, I don't know why you added that. Not gonna lie, I thought it was funny. Um, the Wait. second post is also not begging. Moff is literally just posting the links and saying yeah. that he needs to buy groceries. Okay. E begging. Can I just can I just respond to this real quick? I I don't think someone would have to be rich or fucking profiting like all that much from like videos for their daughter to have diabetes. What the fuck was that point? What? Cause, cause that's stupid. Um, 
Also, well, well, they've seen stuff I don't think Moff equipment. is pretending to be poor. I think he's perfectly well off. I think he's fine. I think he just wants more money than he needs. Yeah. Um, this dude will brag about having 10k a month and then the next fucking like day he'll just like do all this fucking e-bagging uh, online for like a I'm light bulb. I'm starving. Uh, yeah, I need a new light bulb. <laughs> um, and then... Uh, and then he'll just say, like, if we criticize him once, he'll say that we're trying to kill his family. That's why I never really brought it up, like, his daughters or anything. I only brought up, like, once in the video. Because I knew that if I ever did, he'd, he'd be like, he's bringing my family into it. He's the one who started doing that. Um, so, yeah. What the fucking loser, dude? Imagine using your family as an excuse for your fucking little shitty gore videos. Yeah. God, that's fucking weird like holy shit yeah um but anyway uh another one uh a lot of the bigotry claims moff did on that creepy reading are actually really shitty and i agree with you of them all right so, no they agree with me um exploiting sensitive subjects is a really bad way to put it no it's not it's the most tame way i could put it actually um because that's what he does to a T. I don't understand how that's a bad way to put it at all. Yeah, I don't really understand. Um, he made multiple videos on self-harm, suicide, child, porn, slash sexual related content. Yeah, that's why it's sensitive. Fucking idiot. Yeah. If you watch all of them, they are all in respectful taste, and Moff always takes the chance to promote suicide prevention his suicide, his Shawby video is the best one. No, it's not, because the thumbnail is literally the kid second before killing himself. He also shows an uncensored video of when his mum finds him and calls the police. It's not fucking, it, that is not a sensitive video at all. That is a fucking, that is so insensitive of a video. I don't care if he talks about suicide prevention. It's fucking disgusting in the first place. I, I don't care if Plagued Moth, like, pretends to be fucking Guys, in the videos. Guys, don't kill yourself. Also... Thumbnail being the kid right yeah. before killing himself. The thing is, Plague Moth gives himself an out because he, like, pretends to be sensitive in these videos to these topics. It's He's like... not. He doesn't give a fuck. Yeah. He, he does not give a shit. Yeah, he just tries to give himself an out. Like, whenever he yeah. just, like, realistically doesn't give a shit. Like, he wants the fucking views. He wants the fucking revenue that would come from his Patreon and whatever fucking services that he's using, right? Like, exactly, he, man. He just wants more people to come through. And, and then it's just like, I, I'm sorry, how the fuck can you defend this shit? That, like, mm -hmm. legitimately, hey, I, up. Yeah, go on. <laughs> go. <laughs> sorry, I'll just finish off with this no, real no, quick. No, 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 you can go, sorry. I'll just finish off with this real quick. I feel like anyone defending that fucking gore shit is just genuinely, like, some fucking 4chan dweller or some shit. Like, oh, no, they absolutely are. Yeah, well, that's all I have to say for that. You can continue. Yeah, um, a Shelby video is the best one person claiming that they were in the live stream where he committed suicide while showing screenshots slash images of Shawby never seen before said he always felt empty and that he had depression. Okay. What does that have to do with anything? Um, uh, so, what? So that's just Plague Moth what, like, adding more context to a case? What does that... How does that change anything? Yeah. Like, um, a, that's though, literally just adding more context. I think anyone else making a fucking video on it probably would have done the same thing. Like, mm. like, if they were, like, actually trying to fucking research it. Like, that's kind of bare minimum. Yeah. Um, then they say, though the way he put that part where his mom finds him and calls the police was a bit off. So I understand your view on that. Okay, fair. A bit Same off. with the thumbnail. A, a, well, bit... a bit off. It's a bit fucking... Yeah, but it, I get what they're saying. Um, the same with the thumbnail thing. But as I said, he is extremely, in all caps... Respectful through the entire video, except the last mentioned moments. Also, Shawby isn't a gore mixtape. My fault. I'm normal. Um, <laughs> last thing, One Girl 99 Stomps wasn't in the funniest gore mixtape thing. Just making that clear. Yes, uh, fucking some people were saying this. Yeah, I know. I put that clip there right after I said that, because that was, a vid that was the video I had where I had watched it as I was editing the video. And I thought it was integral to put in there to show like his like awful like jinx level reactions. 
I probably right. should have said like one not one girl ninety nine stops instead, but I thought you know I wasn't trying to take it out of context or like do anything. Like that. I mean, it's whatever. Pretty dude. fucking obvious that I wasn't trying to. Dude, most of these are minor points. Like. Mhm. Mm oh no, these are really shit points. Um. Lastly, last thing. Lastly, lastly, some people are fascinated by gore. That's the problem. As fucked up as that sounds, as this. As it's disturbing and shocking, some people are interested in it and to know facts and backstory bef behind certain stuff which Moth provides. The soil purpose isn't haha gotcha kid. Yeah, it is. The entire point of a gore video is shock value. Yes, it is. Can, can I just say this for one second? This commenter admits that this shit is fucked up. He keeps trying to defend it. Keeps trying to fucking yeah. defend it. Like it just, I can agree it's a little fucked up, and it's just like, why are you defending it then? Why are you defending it? That that was the end of the comment, by the way. But yeah, that that's fucking retard, man. Just makes no no fucking sense. Dude, my brain was hurting the entire fucking time. And keeping in mind, this <laughs> is from someone who fucking barely knows anything about Plague Moth. I'm someone who barely fucking knows anything, and I thought those points were shit. So. Yeah. And that's just purely going off of watching Kyle's video, because that's what it was all about, right? Like, holy shit. Like, holy fucking shit, dude. That was... That, that comment was so <laughs> bad. Yeah, um... But when I released my video on Twitter, uh, like a fanboy uh, quote tweeted it and was like, at Plague Moth, he called you disturbing. Um, that... <laughs> they're making fun of me. But Plague Moth calls himself that. So you're making fun of your own little fucking... Your little god. Your little gore god. Essentially. Because he gives himself that title. He says he's the most disturbing channel on YouTube. Yeah. I mean... Um, if you're gonna be, if I you're... know that's just a bit cringe of me to say, but, like, these people can't even come up with insults, so they, intent they, they like, end up, like, insulting their own, like, favourite fucking YouTuber. It's like... Yeah... If I could just say this, you're being respectful to gore, to like this gore fucking topics by like calling yourself like the most disturbing fucking YouTuber. Hell, wasn't the point in your fucking title that like he was calling himself that already? Yes. No, it my my like my my like title was like a play on like his entire like branding because he he also calls himself like the hurter of feelings. It's like. You sure like to get f you, you say that, but you're really sensitive. It's like it really, really hurt her feelings. More like getting your fucking feelings hurt. Like Christ. Um, but there, but Moth himself, the fucking Daddy Moth, <laughs> um, responded to that and said another tear-filled video ranting incoherently. Lol. That took him months, according to him. The reason why it took me months is because of research, and I took a bit of a break. <laughs> Um, but uh, what he said, this is barely anything to go off of. It's not a tear filled. I speak quite well. I'm kind of, I'm kind of based in it. Okay, and uh, ranting incoherently. I think he means spitting facts, spitting absolute factoids, quizlets, little little bit of tidbits here and there. Quizlets. Throw some knickknacks in, like. And I think that's the only thing he said publicly about me. Um, other than like the one where he claims I was like, um, like a racist or something. Yeah, that was really interesting. The, the you, you want to talk about that for a second because I found that to be uh, really fucking like, we'll intriguing. Yeah. Um. So when I was like calling out Moth again on his bullshit on Twitter, um, he seemed to get really mad like out of nowhere and had like a, a, a quote unquote exposed screenshots of me just being really edgy um, on Twitter. Um, right. Now, I'm going to have to come out here and say that I stand by every single one of them. <laughs> 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 they were quite funny. I'm not going to care. Um, and, you know, uh, if you look at the screenshots, they were at least an hour or a couple days bef like after I posted them. So he has been stalking at my fucking profile for months. Legitimately, that I found that that was like 
whenever you still had the <laughs> that was whenever you still had the spindling gang at on Twitter. Yeah, and, and no, I'm it was just spindling like, comms, I think. Spin, yeah, no, it was. I think it was spindling gang. I saw it as, but I mean, wh whatever, whatever fucking at it was, and then I was just like, wait a minute, he hasn't had that at for fucking months. What? Mm. I was just like, what? How? What the fuck did you get these? Like, either. I, either Moth himself screenshotted all that and has been, like, keeping tabs on you, which I think is more likely than whatever the fuck, right? I, I think it's more likely than whatever other thing could be happening, right? Or it could be, like, one of his fucking, like, stupid fans doing it or some shit after hearing that you did yeah, it. Yeah, maybe he's got, like, butt buddies, like, screenshotting everything about him. Like, or, like, screenshotting everything about his detractors, I guess. But I mean, I think... I, I just think it's Moth doing it himself. I think it's more likely that it's Moth doing it himself. Yeah. I mean, I guess we. Uh, I guess we couldn't know for. I don't sure know for, for sure, that. but I got a. I got a little. I got my spindling senses. I think senses. either. I think either way, it's kind of pathetic. Like holy shit. Yeah, yeah definitely. Like. Um, fucking how? Like why? But, uh, to end off the the Moth segment, since it's taken. About 40 minutes of the podcast. <laughs> um, thank you guys. If you've watched the video, thank you for the support. If you've watched the video, don't watch it. It's a bad video. But um, Oh, fuck off. Fuck <laughs> off with that shit. It is not a bad video. video. It is not a bad video. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, let's, we'll just say that. We know in private it is. Um, thanks okay, for 512 bro. subscribers. Means a lot. Means the world. Part two is coming soon. Yep, part two. And coming now we soon. talk about more fat people on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, now we're just. Uh, should we just move on to like talking about fucking tipster or some shit? Because that was like uh, you know, fucking. What well, What was the thing with tipster that he's just fat and sensitive or something? I mean, essentially, a lot of it recently. Was like you know like fucking him just becoming like friends with Catfalls or some shit. It's just like that part I just find kind of boring. What I found kind of interesting was just like Tipster himself just like mauling about like the commentary community and shit, and like them being like fucking you know like you know very like I don't know exactly the term for it. It was like the commentary community. It was like very like taxing for him. But then he goes into the Keffels community. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure there's going to be a difference there. It's like, yeah, because they're, they're totally not like more spurgy and unhinged than the commentary community. Yeah. They're, they're probably more unhinged than the commentary community. Like, unironically. Mm -hmm. Like, not holy... F I mean, Keffels, the woman who, like, wants, like, tr trans children to have HRT and, like, rec like spends her money by, like, the Chinese government on fucking heroin and cocaine and, like, well, like, records, like, fart videos for her, like, audience, yeah. yeah. If I could just make a my... good community to come back to. Yeah, if I can make my stance on that clear, uh, I am fine with anyone doing that shit as long as you are a legal adult that can have consent for it. Like... What, like, the porn? Not the porn, not the... Whatever. I was talking about like HRT and shit. I'm fine with people doing that, oh. like just con uh, consent and whatever the oh, fuck. You're on about that... fart porn. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? No, I'm talking like <laughs> HRT <laughs> shit because I'm just like I I don't care. I don't. Yeah, I mean the minimum age to be like <laughs> to officially change your gender via medical needs terms whatever should be 18. And then people would be like. You think you're automatically be sure if you're an 18 year old? It's like, kinda. It's like it's the legal age for basically everything. Why shouldn't it be the legal age for this? Yeah. Plus, legitimately, that that does stop. You know, like, like this is not every single fucking trans case. In fact, I don't know how many it is. It's not the majority. But like, some kids could unironically be fucking groomed into doing this shit. Yeah, so. I was gonna say that. There's a lot of communities that are so transpositive to the point where they just don't allow cisgendered people, you know, in the, in, the, in their community, and that sometimes can lead a child to just doing things because they want to be a part of something, you know. Yeah. It's it's the it's the mob men not not for every trans people. I'm not transphobic, maybe a little bit, but 
But um, <laughs> for legal reasons, but, like, that's a joke. Yeah, I'm not gonna get into my actual. I believe trans pride. I'll meme frog knows my opinion. Um, yeah. <laughs> but um. Yeah, tipster man, he's so fat and trans. Uh, didn't we say in like a month's time that we can't wait until like tipster comes out as trans because he's in the Kefels community now? I I think yeah, and <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, moral of the story: tipster is fat and probably I hate him. probably gay and also has like. You know, Tipster's probably trans because he little likes... little bit he, Down Syndrome. Because tip, Tipster likes fucking goth girls and shit. Likes his wife being cuckold. Yeah. <laughs> oh. His oh. wife being a fucking... He oh. likes his wife yeah. being a fucking cuck. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> Have you seen that fucking video where he's, like, sat in the car with his wife and they're both like, I don't make fun of people's wife, I'm a big guy myself, so I'm allowed to. Where they're both sat in the car and they can barely fit in the two seats in the front... And he, like, talks about, like, he, like, just, like, makes a joke about goth mommies. And then he's, like, what? his wife just punches him. <laughs> and people just kept being, like, you are being physically assaulted, abuse caught live on camera. <laughs> oh, my God. Tipster in an abusive relationship? It was, it was like, a cringe joke as well. Because he was sat in, like, a car park. No doubt at fucking McDonald's. But, like, you know. Yeah. That guy is definitely like a lol cow. It, yeah. It's like Jalen and stuff. It's like a uh, Jalen. Oh, you know the biggest lol cow though. One that we fucking interacted yeah. with lately. I said that I wouldn't talk about it. I want to talk <laughs> about this. Uh, Smash you can, you can. Yeah, you can lead this part. Yeah. Okay. I admire. I admire little my little character. You can have your little character. Yeah, so basically, like, fucking Smash Bandicoot, holy shit, this guy has been, like, harassing me for four months now or some shit, almost five. It's been, like, really just fucking strange. We have, like, no idea where this guy came from other than the fact that, like, Cartoon, she made some fucking video about him, like, three years ago, right? The only way I found out about him was because you said, do you know who Smash Bandicoot is? And I was like, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so that kind of just proves my point there. Like, holy fuck, this guy just kind of, like, came out of nowhere and then just started, like, harassing random community members. And it's just like, I, I, I'm thinking, what the, what the actual fuck did these guys have to do with this at all? Mm -hmm. It's like, what the fuck? Yeah, I mean, for a while he was raiding my server, like, almost every day or week or something. And he stopped now, thankfully. Um, but but it got to the point where, like, half of our friends' servers were getting, like, raided with the same fucking porn image. It's fucking vile. And, um... He, you know, he did it in 8037, like, every fucking day. Yeah, he also did it... He also did it in Doc on the radios, like, a good bit. Yeah. Like, how does he, like, know who these people are server? I don't know. He assumes that, like, every commentary person is like... Dude, in that call that we had with him, he assumed that, like, Critical was the head of commentary. That was fucking funny. That's not true. I don't... I don't think any commentary person fucking talks to Critical. No, I don't... I don't think, like, Pyro, maybe, but, like... I don't even know if Pyro fucking talks to him. Well, like, he's a Critical clone, according to Pyro Cynical himself. I mean, yeah, he is, really but... Pyro Live, delete the channel! Pyro, Pyro Live content sucks dick, but, like, we don't need to talk about Absolutely, that. Absolutely. Uh, Absolutely. We don't need to talk about that. People are just like, oh, Pyro, uh, Pyro good, because he makes, uh, video, because he makes video essay every eight months, which I like those, actually, but... Yeah, I can't wait for the Killer Squad one. But, Smash Bandicoot. Yep, Smash Bandicoot. Uh, it's it's kind of funny whenever you're talking about that, dude. I was in a group chat, and then uh, someone I was with that Smash also added it, as saying that like it would be funny if Medicare covered him. And then <laughs> and then Smash is just like, who the fuck is Medicare? And I'm just like, you know who my friends are, me, 
cartoon she and all these other small people are, but you don't know who the fuck Medica is. Me- you don't know who the fuck Mr. Medica is. Yeah, I was gonna say. Like, how are like, you hanging around commentary circles yet you don't know who Medica is? Like, what? Medica is like the guy. I I I just don't get how you just cannot know whenever this guy was like M- Medica's literally like at the top of the fucking chain whenever it comes to like commentary shit he's been doing that for like fucking longer than anybody really 20 years probably before youtube <laughs> he's just been he's just his probably name just been... comes from like a website that is like based off of like that shit so yeah yeah he definitely comes off whenever i watch him as a guy who like doesn't really give a shit about uh, about a lot of stuff and is just on the internet for fun like, like he definitely yeah, gives off that vibe. If he if he dies of cancer, which unfortunately is, is a good chance he will, rest in peace. But if he makes a comeback, please come on the podcast. Please come. <laughs> I want to talk about yeah. the, the doodle tones with you. Yeah, did I unironically have a, a huge amount of respect for Medica and shit he's done though? Absolutely. You know who I don't have respect for? Who? Smash Bandicoot. True, true, Smash. I'm gonna. Hey, Smash Bandicoot. By the way, because I know you're fucking listening to this, you you stalk like all our social medias every day. That's how you like got to one of my fucking friends. That's how you got to one of my friends, and which is in his server. Even though I only talk to him like once a fucking year. Uh, I know you're watching this, Smash. Uh, uh, part two, part two, the second call that will be coming. Uh, when? I have no idea at this point, but it will be coming. So stay tuned for that smash. Stay tuned for that. The stay day tuned of reckoning is call. near. The day of reckoning is is fucking here, or it's it's It'll near, not here. <laughs> I ju- I just fucked up that whole line. I am not menacing at all. <laughs> oh, and of course, my dog has to bark when we're recording. That's funny. Uh, I'm gonna leave that. I, I I'm gonna leave that in because it's funny. Uh. Should we, should we say that's the the end, the chopping block? Yeah, it's the end of the end of the fucking chopping block here. Uh, I I think you could tell if you're watching this right now that this was a bit more disorganized after fucking Plague Moth, but that's because that's the main thing we were fucking talking about. Because uh, Plague Moth gay yeah. and Tipster and Smash Bandicoot are just funny, but Plague Moth is like Tipster's actually fucked. Fat Smash Bandicoot lo- like loves like Smash Bandicoot porn. Smash Bandicoot. Smash Bandicoot loves underage cartoon characters. Absolutely, dude. Um, <laughs> but without, without further ado, peace out. Overtime, bros. Bye bye. Goodbye. Peace out.